Well, I asked this to Kalani, and he deferred to you, Coach Lance, so uh, Jay's going to give me a hard time about it, uh, about the specialist. Uh, I've seen games won and lost due to long snapping um, inefficacies and uh, inefficacies. So uh, what's going on with the long snapping competition right now between Austin Riggs, Britton Hogan? Has there been any separation? feel fortunate to have two that we I think the whole team has a lot of trust in. The, each of those guys has areas where, where they need to improve. And just, you know, without calling each one of them out for their individual areas, just as a group, I feel like our protection on the PAT field goal at times wasn't as good as it needed to be last year. Even though we never had an egregious uh, snap that, uh, you know, during the year that went over a holder or a punter's head, that's another area where we need to improve. We had a few... A PAT and field goal snaps where the holder had to turn the ball more than I'd like uh, to get the laces away from the kicker's foot. And, uh, you know, we, we skipped a punt snap or two back, and, and we can always improve our coverage from that spot. So I think there's a lot of work to be done, but, but certainly glad to have both Britton and Austin. All right, Jay, go ahead. Hey, Ed, uh, who would you say kind of won the day today? Was it the defense, the offense? Was it a draw? How would you sum it up? You know, I think that uh, the defensive players are certainly going to come away from this feeling like that, you know, they kept the offense off the scoreboard. I think, you know, through the through the majority of the what we would call the ones and twos, the defense had the, uh, the upper hand or kept the offense out of the end zone. But, you know, a big time caveat to that is, you know, one of the one of the things that we're really good at on offense is breaking tackles with uh, with Tyler Algier and Lopini Cato. And, and, and we did not go live with those two running backs. And that's a major challenge to any defense. It would be a major challenge to our defense. And so I would just say we're, we're as a coaching staff, we've chosen not to find out, you know, what our first offense can do against our first defense because that's such a major component of our offense. And we're just taking that away before we ever start the scrimmage by blowing a quick whistle every time somebody puts two hands on Tyler or Lopini. All right, Greg, go ahead. Coach, uh, even though it's only camp, um, how well do you think the notion of complementary football or collaborative football is still bringing into the team from offense, defense, special teams kind of being unified? Yeah, great question. It's something that we really work work hard at, and um, the um, it, it's difficult to simulate complementary football in any type of practice situation unless we completely split up into two different teams. But we're having those conversations as much as possible on the headset. And that's, you know, that's, that's typically going to be in it. And it's true here too. the head coach, the special teams coordinator and the offensive coordinator. That's going to be the major components of complementary football and determining the risk reward analysis. You know, we, we have an analytics partner and we have a, there's a very thick book that we chart during the game. We also have one of our uh, young assistant coaches that, that takes care of that book and has given us that analytical information. And of course, final decisions always come down to Kalani, but you, you guys have a sense for Kalani. He, he trusts guys to do the job as he's trained them to do. We've, we've tried to, you know, the quick answer to your question, um, Greg, is we've, we've tried to simulate that as much as possible, but we are not going to find out how good we are at communicating that and making the right choices until we actually play a game. Thanks, Ed. Any other questions? Ben, last question. I'll throw one at you. Um, so you mentioned the defensive players felt like um, what they may feel like they kept uh, the offense out of the end zone today. Uh, are you willing to kind of tell us uh, some of the individuals that were able to stand out today and maybe make some plays and possibly move up the depth chart? Sure. Yeah. Thanks for that question. And and, and just a disclaimer, you know, I'm not I'm not the accurate gauge of feelings. In fact, I'm I'm you know, probably pretty limited in that area. So the, I'm taking my best guess here. I feel like a lot of the defensive guys were happy that they were able to keep the offense off the out of the end zone for a while. But um, yeah, I, you got to start with Ethan Slade. He he made two interceptions. He what we call completing the takeover. A lot of guys put themselves in position to knock down passes today. He completed the takeaway. He got the ball back for for our team is the way that we we look at it. Although for today it was getting the ball away from the offense because we're divided up into offense and defense. He did a great job. Really um, was impressed with the the stout level of play up front by our defensive line. We have great depth at the defensive tackle position and some guys that have you know really helped that having Nasa Mike, uh, Nasa Mike Mahi back that has helped a ton. Uh, Caden Haas has developed himself into a really stout player up the middle. 
um, Singh, Joshua Singh, is, is a great uh, young freshman walk-on for us, and we're obviously not counting on freshman walk-on to come in and, and you know, play the way that he's played. He's played himself right into the conversation for, for a rotation, in, in my opinion. You guys would have to ask E. Uh, Tuiaki more about that. To be clear, I'm the backup, right? I'm, you know, he, he took off after the scrimmage. Nobody could find him, and so I'm, I'm here speaking for the defense and, and probably with one hand behind my, tied behind my back uh, with that. But you, you should ask him. But those are the guys, some of the guys that I've been really impressed with. All right, I think we are done and good to go. Thanks, Coach Lamb. Thank you.